What's up guys? This is the uh, part B of part 1, I guess you could say, um, for uh, setting up Cockatrice. And this time we're going to do it on the Mac. Um, oh, I already have my icon down here. Let's just pull that away. Sorry about that. Okay. Mute this. So, we're on a Mac instead of on the PC, and let's get Cockatrice going. Um, these are similar instructions to exactly how the PC was. Um, there are just a couple of differences with where the folders go a little bit. It's basically the same thing, though. So first, let's go ahead and let's open Google Chrome. Because Opera, I have open in another window here. So we're going to go to cockatrice.de, um, just like we did before. We're going to go ahead and log in. Register, if you have not registered yet. I'm going to kind of pretend like you haven't watched the other video. So I'm going to say you, have to re you should register, because that way when you're playing games... Um, and when you're logging into the actual program, um, people, you know, if you're registered, you can have a profile picture, you can set what country you're from, that kind of stuff. And people can set up games where only other registered members can join. Otherwise, um, you, can, you can just join as an unregistered user, but it's better to be registered. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, so let's do that. And yeah, let's save this password. You can see I don't log in very often. Um, and we're going to go to, so cockatrice.de, you can go to news, project, documentation, message boards. We're going to go to download. And we're going to download cockatrice. We're going to use uh, OS 10, And so we are going to pull this one for leopard or newer, because we're, hopefully uh, you are on at least 10.5. Um, and we're going to download this. I'm going to pause my recording while this downloads. Okay, and we are back. Uh, we got this downloaded, so let's go ahead and run the disk image. Or I guess open the disk image, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna say. And we will go ahead and close Chrome. And here we are. So this is Cockatrice on the Mac. Uh, so we don't need to ne necessarily install anything we did on the PC. Uh, we just need to move this into our Applications folder. So let's open up a new Finder. And here we are in Applications. Um, you could also put it in this Applications. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, it doesn't really matter which one. I like to put it in my user folder and then applications because it's easier to find this way. So I'm just going to drag, I'm going to make a new folder right here. Um, and let's call it Cockatrice. And then in that folder, I will put all of this. All right, let's eject that. We don't need that anymore. And here we have it. So now the next thing that we want to do, so remember on the PC, if you, if you watch the video, the Oracle came up automatically. On the Mac, it doesn't. So we, move, we, we moved our Cockatrice uh, information all over to our Applications folder, and we are now going to run the Oracle here. So double-click it to run it. Um, we're going to go ahead and open. And here is the Oracle. Now, um, what we need to do from here is this is the Oracle allows us to download all the card set information so that we can then um, add our decks and create decks and, <clears throat> excuse me, and play online. So let's do that. So we're going to go up here to File. I'm going to say Download Sets Information. And here we have a URL. Uh, it should be pre-populated there. Just in case it's not, it's uh, http colon slash slash www.cockatrice.de. You can see here, slash files slash sets dot xml. Again, you shouldn't have to type it. It should already be there. I'm going to say OK. And here are the sets for um, Magic the Gathering. Now, what it doesn't bring in automatically, this is what it doesn't have a check marked, are the sets that are not uh, tournament legal, I believe. I could be wrong. I'm not sure Vanguard is legal, and probably it is in Legacy and Vintage. Um, I'm not 100% sure. The dual decks, it doesn't bring in automatically. Um, Arc Enemy... But I really, and unglued unhinged. I like to bring in everything because you never know what card you're going to want. And really, it's not that much more to download. So I'm just going to say check all. So it checks everything. And we're going to go ahead and start this download. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. Um, and then we will come back as soon as the download is complete. And we're back. Okay, we have everything downloaded. Um, and it's all set. So now um, the. It's kind of a bummer, I guess. Whatever. It doesn't actually say that we're done. Maybe it does. I could just be being a dumb dumb here. I don't see it. Uh, I don't think it says we're done anywhere. Yep. Okay. So we're just done because total progress. It doesn't say anything. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and close out of our of our Oracle if we can. Oh, what is Oracle doing? Oh. Oh, it's over here. Thank you. Look, I'm watching Top Gun. There it is. Total import finished. Okay, now 
Oracle is closed. We said OK, Oracle closed itself. So now let's open up Cockatrice itself. So we're going to go ahead. I like to drag this down to my quick launch. Uh, we'll just throw it right here. My launch, my launch bar, I guess. Open up Cockatrice. And here we are. Okay, so before we connect to an online game, I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. Um, we, I want to go over some of the basic settings. So let's go into Cockatrice and then Preferences. Let's take a look at some of these settings. Um, language, set to English or whatever your language is. Um, download card pictures on the fly. That way it doesn't download them all automatically. It only downloads them when you mouse over them. Um, and that just saves up a little bit of temporary space here. Um, <clears throat> and then for your deck, oh, whoa, oh, change the language. Oh, what, 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 what? Okay. Better. <laughs> so for your decks directory, pictures directory, and path to card database, you can actually change these. Uh, the decks directory we'll talk about in just a second. So your pictures directory, this is where it downloads those pictures, puts them right here. Um, you can change it if you want to. There's no reason to change it. Just leave it default. Path to card database, this is where we got that cards.xml. Um, you could have downloaded it somewhere else if you so chose, but I don't know why you would, as you could just download it straight from Cockatrice. Um, <clears throat> and so there's no, to there's no reason to change that either. Now the Dex directory, this is something that I like to change. And the reason is because I play this game both on my PC at home, on my desk, and my, my MacBook Pro when I'm out on the road. Um, and so instead of worrying about uploading Dex to servers and re-downloading them and things like that, I actually use Dropbox. Um, and in Dropbox, I have a Cockatrice Dex folder right here. In here I have um, fun rare Dex, legacy Dex, modern Dex, standard Dex. You know, it's all right in here. Um, I have the dark, the top eight from Proto Dark Ascension. Uh, I've got a bunch of modern decks, uh, legacy decks. I just, I just like to have lots of decks. Um, and so what I like to do is put this um, Cockatrice decks folder path here in my Dropbox. That way, if I add or edit a deck in on one computer, it updates both of them automatically for me, which is really, really beneficial. And so I'm going to set it to there. Appearance. We're going to go over. Oh, it looks like it saved the appearance. Um, let's clear this out actually. I want to show you what this looks like without all these appearance settings. And um, this is how it looks default for you. It must have saved my preferences file. I uninstalled it and reinstalled it, I guess, because I didn't do it the right way. Um, and so, yeah, so this is how it's going to look default. It's going to be cleared out like this. Uh, user interface, nothing to change here, unless you want to enable sounds. Deck editor, nothing to change there. Oh, the price tag feature is kind of cool. Um, BlackLotusProject.com gives you a, like a medium price for all the cards. If you want to, you can have it so that your deck uh, editor, when you load the cards, you click a button that says something like Find Prices or something like that, and it will um, estimate the total value if you were to purchase this deck in real life. Uh, it's pretty cool to have. Um, sometimes enable, sometimes I, I just disable it, because I think it just takes up extra space. I don't really care about the prices. Um, and then Messages here. I don't ever use this setting here. Um, Let's close it. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you what a local game looks like. Um, so I'm going to, I mean, what a game looks like. Just, I'm just going to start a game, just one player here. Um, so you can get an idea of what Cockatrice looks like default and then why I like to change it. So let's go ahead and load Cobblade. Um, you can see it's downloading these pictures on the fly. It didn't have any of these downloaded before. Now it has them downloaded. Um, and let's say we're ready to start. We're going to go over all this in more detail uh, when we get into our how to play the actual game setting. So now this is what Cockatrice looks like um, default. So you have the blue area here, which is the battlefield. You have the green, which is your hand. And you have the red, which is the stack. And this is the player info area, all of this here. And these are the phases. So now when we draw our opening hand, which I'm going to go over later exactly how to do this. Um, look at this. Beautiful. Remember, remember this beauty? Jason My Sculptor, Stoneforge. This is the, the Twin Blade deck. XR, Dismember, Spell Pierce, Two Lands. This is beautiful. Um, anyway. So your hand goes down below. Uh, if you want to play, so for example, if we wanted to see Chrome Coast, and let's pretend this is Ponder or something like that, you, know, you could tap it by double tapping it. We're going to go over all this more later. And the stack is over here. Um, your opponent, when you're playing online, your opponent is actually going to be half this size, and your opponent's screen will be up above it. Um, anyway, so this is how it normally looks. So now I'm going to go ahead, and I want to show you the changes, the updates that I have made personally to it, which which I feel are really an improvement. So let's close this game. And let's go back into our preferences. And let's change this appearance. So how, how I like to set it is, oh, you know what? Okay, so yeah, hand stack, table, player, okay, yeah. So I like to actually set all of these, except for the card background, to be the same logo, which is this aperture logo. Um, or background, I should say, or picture, uh, JPEG, whatever. And the reason you're going to see in a minute is because Cockatrice does not... Um, 
It does not resize the image for you. You have to like, manually change it yourself. And so because of that, it actually takes away most of that Aperture logo. Now the picture, the Magic Card Pack picture, also, by the way, you could use other logos. I have some of these wooden tile ones that I use sometimes, um, but I prefer this Aperture one. Yeah. Also the Magic Card Pack. I actually just downloaded this straight from Google, um, and that way we have pictures here. I also don't like to display the hand horizontally. I like to display it vertically, and you're going to see why in just a moment here. Other settings you can play with as you choose. So let's close this. Let's start another local game, one player. Load Cobblade, start. So this this is actually how I like to see my my what do you say my playing area. Um, so I, I just like this aperture logo because I think it looks it's nice. It's a little bit darker. It's not so bright and shocking. Uh, your opening hand, your hand is over here vertically, and then your uh, when you play the stack. So for example, if we were going to pre pretend we had a land we could preordain, right? You know, you tap and the stack is right next to it like this. Um, which I prefer to having the hand down here. Now, you're going to say, oh, you know, but on your Mac, it's much more inefficient to have it you know, up here compared to down here. When you're playing against, oh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll just show you. I'll just show you. I will. Let's go to preferences. Let's change oops, Let's change this back to horizontally. Let's just start a two-player game. That way you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so... This is how it's going to look when you're playing against another person. Um, as you can see, your hand is way down here. It's very scrunched up up here. Um, this is your opponent's play area over here. So now, I don't know, can you just change this preference on the fly? I don't think you can, but let's just see what happens. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. So when I change it like this, you can see I have much more area to play with down here. So let's just change it again. So you can see that everything gets a little bit bigger, but you really don't lose a lot of play area space here, and the cards get bigger and a little bit easier to see. Now, it's totally up to you which way you prefer. I prefer to have it like this. Um, but that's more of a personal preference. On a, I can tell you that on a 1080p screen, on my big screen I have on my computer, uh, on my desk, it makes a big difference. But on this screen, apparently it doesn't make that big of a difference. Uh, I didn't actually, I never actually done that test before. I just set it like that because I like it on my big screen the same way. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and so these are some of the settings. And, um, and some of the basics on how to get cockatrice up and running. And now, next on the next video, we are going to talk about how to proceed from here, how to go online, some of the etiquette involved, and all of that nice stuff. And so until then, we'll see you next time. Peace.